hello guys welcome back in the last lecture we saw about the how to do the bar plots and now let's look into our heat maps so we already have the data for the heat maps which is already prepared so but anyway we'll put the four hash and heat map okay we have the data df underscore sales the data is already available with me and we will make use of the data and do the heat maps so doing the heat map i'll use the seaborn here and use the heat map and specify the data is df underscore sales and what we can see here is a night heat map is being drawn and the lower the value which is what the darker and the higher the value which is a lighter here and you can also specify the uh, increase the size let's say it is the figure plt dot figure and fix size let's increase to 10 comma 10 comma 8 so this time i'll make it a bigger one so the end uh, also let's uh, put some points here by putting the n out is equal to true if i specify n out equals equal to true i'm getting this part in the scientific notation so let's change the format fmt is equal to uh, 02f so i'm getting the float values with the two decimal points this, this is the perfect and let me change the color map to whatever i want my personal favorite color map it is gnu plot is also the excellent way of visualizing the color map and let me give the width of the each and every box so i'll give the line width and line width is equal to one pixel is what i'm going to give here and nice plot is being drawn here and you can just and you can see in the x-axis and as you can see in the x-axis we have the quarter values in the y-axis we have the years and as you can see clearly visible like you know the lower the values of the sales we can have the darker and the higher values you can see the uh, light color or nearly equal to the yellow and you can see in almost in the uh, in the year up to 2004 all the values are light the blue dark and the blue and after that you can see easily see like you know the yellowish one and the very very good amount of sales has been our highest amount of the sales has been happened in 2009 q2 and q3 so this is what is all about the visualization of a time series data so i i talk I talk about like you know how to take this basic data and which we do some kind of pre-processing and makes us the cooler visualizations for the time series data like line area and the bar plots stacker bar plot and uh, area plots again and finally the heat maps hope you enjoy this lecture series hope you enjoy this lecture and we'll talk about more about this time series analysis in the more upcoming lectures thank you very much Please find the description for the URLs below on the visualizations on time series data and don't forget to subscribe our channel data science anywhere for more videos and projects on data science. Thank you very much and happy learning.